Hey everyone, here's a question on square and square root. The question is, find the least number which must be subtracted from 2361 to make it perfect square. So, this given number is not perfect square. We have to find out a smallest number. When we subtract from this number, that number should become a perfect square number. So, how to do this? Whenever you see this type of question, we have to solve it by using a long division method. Now, this method is quite different than normal division. So, number here is 2000. 361. The first step here is start pairing up. We're going to pair up from the right side. 61 will become one pair and 23 is the second pair. Now how to find out the divisor? Now I have to find out a number which is perfect square number and closer to 23. Not more than 23. It can be equal or less. So which is a perfect square number which is closer to 23? So we know that 3 3 is, a, is 9. 3 square is 9. 4 square is 16. 5 square is 25. So 25 cannot take because it's greater. So I'm going to go with 4 square which is 16. So 4, 4 is a 16. Subtract it. When you subtract it, you will get 7 as a remainder. Now drop the next number. So when you're dropping it, drop the entire pair which is 61. Now how to find out the divisor for this step? Now it's a it's very important step here. For the first step, you have you have learned how to find out the divisor. You have to take the perfect square number closer to it and then take it. But in second step, whatever quotient you have, here the quotient is 4. So I have to take a double of the question. So 4 plus 4 is 16. So I'll take here 16. Sorry, uh, 4 plus 4 is 8. I'm sorry, it's not 16. It's 8. So I should take 8 here. Okay, 4 plus 4 is 8 or 4 to 8, anything. Now this is only one part of the divisor. I have to find out a number in the ones place now. Now this number should be in such a way that if I'm multiplying it, it should be multiplied with the ones place. That, that is, suppose I'm taking 82 here, then I should multiply with 2 here. Okay, this number in the ones place and the number I'm multiplying, they should both be same. So like if I take 2 to the 4 and then 8 to the 16, I got 164, it's quite small. So let me go to the bigger number here. Let me take 87, 7 za. So I cannot take 87, 6 za. It, 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 we cannot take like that. The both numbers should be same. So 7, 7 za is 49. Now 7, 8 za 56. 56 plus 4 will be 60. So we got 609. It's quite small. So let's take the next number, 88, 8 za. So 8, 8 za 64. Then 88 is 64, 64 plus 6 will be 70. So we got 704. Now let us try with 9 here. I'm just checking the answer. So 89 9 za. So 9 9 za 81. Then 9 8 za 56. Uh, 56, uh, yeah, sorry, 8 9 za is 72. 72 plus 8 is uh, 80. So we got 801, which is quite greater. So I'm going to go with 704. So 88 8 za is 704. Now subtract it. So when you subtract this, you will get 57 as a remainder. Sorry, 57 as a remainder. So the smallest number to be subtracted here is a 57. Let me erase this part here. So whatever remainder you got here, this remainder, if I subtract from this given number, I'll get a number which, which from which we can able to find out the square root. So therefore, f the smallest number is 57. So 57 is the smallest number smallest number to be subtracted now suppose in case you ask in the question find out the square root of that number that is after subtracting it so let me subtract here so 2361 minus 57 when you do it it will be equal to 2304 now how to find out this number is 2304 is a perfect square number and if you want to find out the square root of this number it is very simple whatever answer you got here in the question that is a square root of that number so 40 is a square root of this given number so you don't have to again calculate it this will be the answer whatever number you have in the question that will be the square root of the number after subtracting it so that's it i hope this question is clear in case you have further questions or doubts you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching